Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, and it's that time once more. Another year has passed with its ups and downs, highs and lows, a patch of annoying dental work, and some fun projects. However, something suddenly occurred to me. This is my tenth gag reel. Yes, I've been making videos for over a decade, over a quarter of my life. It's weird to think about. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, and yet the evidence is there. Durgan has no sense of time. So with that, enjoy another year's worth of screw-ups because, well, that's a constant. You know, just don't start talking. That's a great way to do one of these videos. Good job! That was your cue, Durgan! The crazy morphing met guy got a big laugh out of me, and the launch sequence was super neat. Honestly, this level really just shines in how creative it is. It done... It done a heck of a... It done a heck of a lot of good things. <laughs> English. First off, some Mag Mammal 3 news. The devs are looking for programmers and playtesters to help out with new assets in the engine. They have a, uh... What's the word? Application. There you go. Wow. Mine's the first thing to go. Uh... Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to Mag Mammal 2, and it's time for the judge commentary and the realization that I'm standing in the wrong place. Good job, me! Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to Mag Mammal 3. In the future! <laughs> Good job! Mag Mammal 3, it's not out yet. So yes, we have a Darkwing Duck costume. I believe this comes from an NES Darkwing Duck game. I've never actually played it. I've seen an LP of it. I kind of white. I kind of white Montu. Yeah, that uh, words. So today we're going to be taking on the grand finale back in TRX. But before we go there, we do have a new costume to go get. So time to go. Time to glow coath shopping. Yeah, that. English. Good job. Durgan is very stressed. So, great time for this. <laughs> so, the first floor... The first floor on this room. Yeah, that. This one's a direct sequel to the original Legend of Zelda, though it is a bit of a departure as far as the battle system is concerned. Unlike the overhead battle system from the original Zelda, this one's a side-scroller with platforming elements and even RPG elements. As you fight enemies, you get various e various experience points. Yes, everyone is unique. The heck did that even mean? Hello, Roar Mithril here once again, and I apparently should just never set a concrete date for anything. Yeah, yesterday was a weird day. Got woken up about five hours earlier than I really wanted to by super loud violent storm weather and a power out, and dinner did not agree with me. Fun times. Anyway, it's time for our first... our first project. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've never done anything before. Good job. Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to... I've gotten too used to saying that. I was about to say getting back to Mag Mammal 2. No! And down this way. I did say I didn't really want to do a lot of on-camera grinding for cards, but there is one that we are kind of going to have to grind for. And it is the one dropped by Earth Demon. The reason I really need this card is it does have slight movement tool pop uh, properties. Properties, that's a word. Property, property, property.
Here we've reached the hallway of pallet swaps. We have ectoplasms, which are basically just faster, stronger spirits. We also have pallet swaps of both the skeleton sh uh, skeleton shoulder. The boniest of shoulders! How about we actually start talking? That'd be good! So yeah, for those wondering, that was not my first grind session to try and get that thing. I took quite a few where I just fought until I got killed off and then tried again. But either way, we have the needle armor now. And we're hitting the wrong buttons, because good job. How long have I been at this now? Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to... This is not Castlevania, not even close. Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to... Again? I cannot say Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. I'm too used to saying Circle of the Moon. Help me. What? So, yeah. You can't use the magic system in here. <laughs> A little distracted by you just going through the wall. So yeah, first place belongs to my good friend Kit. So yes, he speedran this stage and he did a really good job of it, and saved a replay. So just for posterity's sake, I wanted to record this as a good favor, uh, as a good fr a good favor to a good friend. If something I don't what English. So yeah, let's get into this. And find we're hitting the wrong button. Good job. <laughs> uh. This is going to take getting used to. Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Cuphead, and today should theoretically, hopefully, be a fairly short one. We're just taking on the third and final arena. Arena? Mausoleum. Not even close. Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Cuphead, and I'm on the wrong screen. I'm looking at this on OBS and not the actual game. I mean, it works. Just not very well. Oops. Hello, Room Mithril here once again, getting back to... Why was I gonna say Castlevania? This isn't even close! Okay, the other option in trying to catch Opera... Uh, opera? Abra? Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Pokemon Yellow No Evolutions. So, off camera I bit a... I bit a ditta. Yes, I bit a ditta. Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to... I don't even know what I was about to call this. Generally, I do my effort value training just through normal battle, or using super... I didn't know you could talk to Chansey. That's a derailment. This might sound a bit like a Legends of the Hidden Temple spiel, but in the original games, as soon as you get to Celadon City, if you're so inclined, you can completely ignore Erika's gym. You can just go to the top of the department store, get a drink, go beat Team Rocket in their base under the game corner, go bro... Probe? Probe. 
Yo, bro. And so there you have it. We may have switched to a new computer, had more varied projects, and had several things going on in real life, but the more things change, the more outtakes remain the same. To all my viewers young and old, those who've been with me from the start to those just joining me now, my eternal thanks for your support. Here's to another 10 years. But with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the outtakes, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.